Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Google Cloud Platform Marketplace to do a one-click install of WordPress. Now, this is in contrast to the tutorial video that I released recently that was explaining how you can create a free website, a free WordPress website for that matter, on Google Cloud Platform, and that took a lot of steps as far as setting up the web server, PHP, the MySQL database, all that stuff. Um, this is going to be one-click install. I think the caveat here is that you can't do, you can't utilize the free tier for Google Cloud Platform for this. So this is something that you would have to pay for. Uh, but that being said, it is one click. So let's go ahead and take a look at the tutorial here. All right, so from your, co your console.cloud.google.com, uh, go into the navigation menu here on the left and click on Marketplace. And this is where you will see a huge number of different one-click installs uh, for the most part one-click installs so you have over a thousand virtual machines all these other apis and services data sets these data sets for for COVID right now um, databases security all this stuff you can be here for a while looking through these um, some some instances are wordpress that's what we're going to look at today you have an nginx server nginx plus server um, you got your Vanilla, Windows Server, Ubuntu, Red Hat. Uh, let's see what else we got down here. You have networking. I'm not sure what any of those are. Some databases, Mongo, Maria Database. You have Redis. And, you know, it just goes on and on. So um, I know they also have some e-commerce in here too, which I saw. You might have to dive into one of these sections. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out the WordPress one-click to deploy, and we're, um, we we're using the one by Google Click to deploy. So there's other companies, and I should have pointed that out on the back, the previous page, like uh, Mongo created this, or the US Census, Census Bureau created this virtual machine. Nginx created this one. So we're gonna use this one, Google Click to deploy, because you if you do go in here, you will see multiple different um, WordPress versions running on different, let's just go ahead and look in there because it's worth it, I think. Um, so you have, whoops, did I not click on it? Uh, we want to base, basically what we want to go into, uh, where do we go? This is our virtual machines. Sorry, bear with me for one second. We want to go into the virtual machines, yes, uh, but it, maybe it's another category in here. It's the blogs and CMS category. That's true. Okay, so you have, WordPress by Bitnami. You have um, Open Lightspeed WordPress, which is cool. This is a Google Click to Deploy WordPress that we're working with. Actually, no, this is a multi-site. This is the one we're working with. Um, what else you got down here? High availability. Um, Django, that's not WordPress, but I know I see there's like Apache, Nginx, Open Lightspeed, all that stuff. So let's just click with start with this one. Click on that. And uh, this is just an overview of the default instance, which is $13 per month. I know we can get that less than that uh, based on this, you, the resources and stuff. Google Cloud Platform is you know, notorious for being um, expensive to host a website. But let's go ahead and set this up. So we'll expand the details here. For one shared virtual CPU and 1.7 gigabytes of RAM, you're gonna be paying $18.76 per month, and there's a sustained use discount of five bucks, so right around 13 bucks a month. And you get the software pre-installed Apache, um, MySQL, PHP, a WordPress command line interface, and PHP My Admin. So let's see, we can call this, uh, let's call this WordPress one click. And the zone, um, you can pick whatever you want. Again, I tried to come in here and do the free tier, which would have been, central one dash a and the smallest one is a micro which is 0.6 gigabytes of memory and just to make sure we're using the n1 series um, but we don't see any indication that this is going to be applied uh, for the free tier credits monthly credits so let's just go ahead and go through the installation process just so you know what that looks like we want to allow http traffic and https in case you want to do a uh, an SSL certificate. So let's go ahead and deploy this. Whoops, and make sure we accept the terms and conditions. So let's deploy this. And that should take us to our virtual machines page. Did I click on that? Let's try it again. Any errors? Oh, 
email tony at tony teaches dot tech okay deploy and yeah like i said this should take us to the virtual machine page when it's done <clears throat> and it's being deployed um i think uh yeah let's just let's just walk through this live let's see what happens Looks like it's setting everything up. It's quite, quite detailed. Whoops. Anything else down here? Nope. Um, so it's pending, pending. There's our MySQL password or MySQL root user is root. And MySQL root password. Oh, okay, so that's the user password, the root password. This is the admin name for WordPress. This is the admin password. So this is all good information to see here. I'll copy that. Um, what about the software? So that's the, that's the software list again. Okay, I think we're good to go. So uh, let's click on this URL to go to our website. And yep, it's sending us here. Let's make sure we go there. So we got WordPress installed. They have, I guess, this is some theme I don't I, I recognize it but I don't know which one it is so let's go to WP admin and go sign in Tony at Tony teaches tech and we'll paste in that password remember me for now and there we go so we are logged in um, I just I'm really curious what that theme is appearance it's 2017 interesting why would they not use the default 2019 or 2020, it's 2020 now. Um, maybe they just like the big picture on the front. Anyway, there is our WordPress website. As always, if you want to set up DNS A records to point to this domain name and put, give it a URL domain name, uh, I said domain name, point to the IP address, give it a domain name, you can do that. I have videos for that. Um, but yeah, that's that's a pretty straightforward one-click process. Maybe maybe more than one click, but you get the idea here. It's a lot easier than going through all those steps. So, um, got plenty of other Google Cloud Platform videos for you. So check some of those out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. And guys, if you stick around and subscribe, I will see you in the next video.